Hey guys, welcome to my one of my happy places. I'm in La Rignale in Ontario. And uh, as you can see, it's very uh, pristine. I'm right on the water here on um, the Ottawa River. I'm on a dock and you're gonna hear the waves crashing here because there's a lot of uh, boats on the water, lots of traffic, so you're gonna hear a lot of stuff go behind me. I'm not sure this, uh, you know, how well this is gonna work. I'll do my best. Um, what I've been realizing more and more, and as I've been doing these meditations, it's kind of like a, a healing journey at the same time, so I'm really grateful for this. Um, what I'm becoming more and more aware of as I have conversations about um, the global crisis we're in is that um, I'm not on, a, on an extreme position and I'm in the middle and I'm in the gray zone. So what that means for me is that I'm uh, open to inquiry, I'm open to debate, I'm open to uh, learning. Um, and I'm open to being surprised. So whatever that means, so far uh, it's allowed me to learn a lot about our body, a lot about medicine, a lot about um, all kinds of things, especially on communication. The way we communicate is so important because it doesn't matter what we believe or what our point of view is. For me, what matters the most is um, being respectful and being kind and being compassionate. And yes, it happens quite often that uh, I get emotional, you know, and if people around me are all um, saying comments or making observations and it's not like a debate and it's not a conversation, it's more with a tone of criticism and maybe a bit of arrogance or maybe some fear or maybe some judgment um, then you know that's not the same thing as a discussion and a, and a respectful debate between equals so I'm seeing that more and more of that is is present around me and um, it's important for me to protect myself before I go in a situation where I know there's gonna be that kind of uh, attack and it doesn't um, doesn't change who I am because I know I'm a loving person and I'm compassionate and I'm intelligent and um, I'm aware. So with that being said, um, we can be right, we can be, um, we can have all these qualities that I just mentioned, but if we still hit a wall and we still don't find that peace that we're looking for, because maybe everyone's against us or maybe not everyone understands us or acknowledges us, then the only thing we can really do at that point, and I'm saying this to myself while I'm saying it to you, is to surrender. To let go of trying to convince, let go of trying to be right, let go of trying to, um, to have agreement and surrendering that um, it's okay. There's no urgency, Don't. there's no need to have answers right now in this moment um, and when we're present and in the moment then we can see very quickly that everything is okay right now with us if you can get to that place kudos to you and the more you get to that place the more peace you'll have the more serenity you'll have the more forgiveness the more compassion the more love because um, I believe that we came here to transmute the darkness into love and to bring that out into the world, to really just project it, to bring it out, to share, to, to give, to be open, to forgive, and at the same time to be respectful. So let's sit in a cross-legged pose, rest your hands on your knees or on your legs you can put your hands like this if you want and start breathing in the fresh air just a few breaths to clear
clean yourself, to start relaxing, to start getting present in your body right now in this moment. Close your eyes, it helps to soothe. Uh, we have so much information coming at us. Closing our eyes allows us to block some of that information and to kind of bring our focus within. You know, I'm so grateful to be able to meditate and to put this on a public platform because sometimes I really feel hopeless and powerless. But when I do these meditations, it makes me feel like I'm part of the solution. So thank you so much to YouTube and for you who's watching right now to, um, um, to allow me to keep doing this. So just come back home, come back into your body and feel that joy, feel the juiciness of being here right now. Oh, you can stretch a little bit, just wiggle around just to let go of some tension that might be in your neck. I know I've got some tension here from working with a mouse with, the, with my right hand. I know I could use a massage right now. So any area that's tight, that has pain, or any place in your body where you're holding, could be anger, it could be some kind of a frustration, um, send some love to that part right now. So if you start yawning or if you start to, uh, like my eyes water a lot when I'm letting go of stuff, because, um, you know, our emotions are so connected to our physical body that sometimes just releasing the emotions or releasing tension could make us emotional. Everyone has a different way of releasing their stress. And we're all different, so welcome all of it and be open to all of it. take this opportunity to send love to um, all the people on the planet right now who feel attacked who feel any kind of fear or uncertainty using Ho'oponopono, I say, I love you, I'm sorry, forgive me, thank you. So when I say send love, I also send that prayer to these people, because there is love in that, and there's forgiveness, and 
to me, there's no better way to um, extend humanity and extend goodness and compassion. And... Oh, wow. hack I want to let you in on is I mentioned earlier that I started protecting myself um, energetically if I'm going into a place that I that I know I'll be attacked so what I do is if you're familiar with uh, sacred geometry um, you picture the Merkaba and you picture it as if you're standing inside a, a giant Merkaba my Merkaba, I picture it white and shining light, shining white light. And when you spin the Merkaba, it turns, and when it turns fast, it actually becomes a circle. It looks like a circle. Um, so I picture that around me. And if I want to send a protection, let's say towards my son, I picture him standing in a Merkaba as well with the Merkaba spinning, white light. I've done this with my town as well, if I wanted to um, only let people in who were beneficial to me and my highest good, so I would do it around my town. I would put a Merkaba around my city. Um, uh, so sky's the limit pretty much what you can do, you can put it around the planet. Um, so I'm going to do that right now actually, and you can do that with me in your mind's eye. Picture. A Merkaba surrounding planet Earth and spinning, spinning, spinning so fast. It's white light and the, the whole planet is protected. Let's do that right now. So do it around a hospital, we could do it around a patient who's suffering or someone who's struggling for their life. We could, um, I even did this for fun, I pictured white light inside of syringes that were uh, giving shots to people. Um, when my dad had his hip surgery, I pictured the surgeon being surrounded by light and his um, scalpels being uh, full of light and full of love you know and my dad being surrounded by light and love and he had a record-breaking recovery and the doctors were stunned how fast he recovered and how little pain or discomfort he felt um, so it really is powerful the power of visualization so if ever you feel um, helpless discouraged, maybe useless, um, highly encourage you to do some visualization because I'm living proof that it works. So back to the planet being surrounded by the Merkaba spinning with white light. It's beautiful. So I encourage you to bring this into your next meditations because I, who knows, maybe for the next year, two years, three years, you know, uh, we need all the help we can get at this point. So, so visualize the planet healing and the vibration just going up and people being happy and joyful and forgiving and compassionate and loving and cooperative and healthy. 
And this is the world we're living into because we create our reality. And by creating our reality now, we're creating our future. We're creating um, the reality of our children and their children and their children and their children. So you know what? Don't be afraid to think big because doing this now will have major impacts on your life and the people all around you. So namaste. I love you and have a great day.